Shana Tova. Ma Tovu. As I look back on the past two years of my presidency, I feel like the groundwork has been laid for a future of vision and promise. At my first Yom Kippur appeal, I introduced myself to you as the first president of Sutton Place Synagogue, who was also a doctor. And I told you that doctors are problem solvers, which make us particularly equipped for this job. That first year required that we assess our leadership and our needs. At my second Yom Kippur appeal, it was about leaving a legacy. I spoke to you about a distant relative of my husband's who we discovered gave the initial gift to build a synagogue in Bismarck, North Dakota in 1921. Over the past year, we worked to make the necessary changes so that the foundation of the congregation is strong and we are ready to build on the present and secure our future. Here's what I know after being president of this congregation for two years. There are only two outcomes to any endeavor, success and learning. We have learned a lot from listening to you, and we are proud of the present and excited to create a magnificent future together. We know we are stronger when every voice is heard. This brings us to now. This is an exciting time of growth at Sutton Place Synagogue. This is the time to make our vision a reality. And as it says in the information at your seat this young Kipper, this is our time. Almost every week, like many of you, I attend Shabbat services and have the honor of sitting through our beautiful service led by Rabbi Ain and Cantor Karen. As the Torah is expertly read by Barak Levi, I learn from Eighth Zion. The week that we read Parshat Balak, in which Balaam sets out to curse the Jewish people, but all that came out of his mouth was a blessing, and that blessing was Ma Tovu, struck me as the perfect starting point to talk to you about our synagogue, its strengths, its needs, and its future. What does Matovu mean? How lovely are your dwellings, O Jacob, your sanctuaries, O Israel. In your abundant loving kindness, O God, let me enter your house reverently to worship in your holy temple. Should not the place where we worship God where we pray reverently, where we bind together as a community, be lovely. Yes, our chairs may be frayed and our carpet may be worn, but we are none of these things. And it is time for our sanctuary to reflect who we are as a community. We deserve this and we need this. We are a strong, close-knit, vibrant community who comes together in times of need and celebrates our triumphs. There is a commentary in Parshat Balat that states, individual Israelites might not be that impressive, but it has always been the genius of the Jewish people that the whole added up to more than the sum of its parts. Ordinary people combined to make extraordinary communities, sites of holiness and charity. We are that extraordinary community. We come together for brises and baby namings and bar mitzvahs and uchras and weddings. And sadly, we come together for funerals and shiva and to say Kaddish. We are a community that loves each other, even when we don't know we agree, because after all, we're a Jewish community. We learn together, we pray together, we laugh together, and we cry together. We are a community who believes that giving tzedakah is a holy act. And as a community, we believe in tikkun olam, making this world a better place. We are strong, and I want you to understand that your donation today will make a difference and further strengthen our sacred community. This is a congregation that faced serious adversity earlier in the year, but with each adversity, we rose higher, we became stronger, we became better. 
In October, a swastika was painted on our front door in the middle of the night. The rabbi and I met with police, and within hours, the swastika was removed, and we were ready for a normal day to begin. Minion was held in the sanctuary. Children arrived in the nursery school. The people who performed this heinous act were not going to stop us. That evening, along with Evening Minion, we had a service in which members of the Sutton Place community and the greater community joined together. We had representatives from the Israeli government, the ADL, the Catholic Church, and the New York Board of Rabbis come and speak and pray with us. Out of one of our darkest days, we found community, we found warmth, and we felt the presence of God. Then, a few weeks later, a Torah fell at a wonderful bar mitzvah. It was an accident. It fell off the Torah holders, which we have discovered are not as sturdy as they should be. After Shabbat, Rabbi Ain sent an email to do a community fast. Traditionally, people are supposed to fast for 40 days when a Torah falls. Instead, she said we would fast as a community for 40 days. Each day, a person from the community would fast for the entire Sutton Place Synagogue community. Afterwards, each person sent in their personal reflection on the fast. There were several reflections that I could have shared with you, but this one was most appropriate for today. Peter Miller wrote, the most rewarding fast I have ever done. All other fasts have been for myself alone. However, for this fast, I was fasting for the entire community, and the importance of this fact was not lost on me. In a very small way, I got some insight into the responsibility that Cantor Karen has, must feel, when he prays to God on behalf of the community during Yom Kippur services. Very powerful experience. How proud I am, and I think we all should be, to be part of this Sutton Place Synagogue family. Rabbi Ain started as our leader six years ago. Prior to her arrival, we had 10 years of steadily declining membership. However, in the past four years, our membership has risen every year. That's almost unheard of in conservative synagogues, but not unheard of at Sutton Place Synagogue. Why? What changed? The change came when we started to think of ways to create entry points for everyone in our community, when we thought beyond what we offer on Friday nights and Saturday mornings, when we created affinity groups like the Young Professionals and the Boomers community, when we built the Family Center and the Camp to complement our nursery school and our religious school, when we expanded our community learning offerings and partnered with the JTS and the Jewish Book Council and our own members, and when we sponsored group trips to the South and to Israel. These are just a few of the things that account for our growth, but not all of them. I am pleased to announce that on September 5th, the board unanimously voted to renew Rabbi Ain's contract. She will be our spiritual leader for an additional five years. None of this expansion, excitement, and work could have been done without her hard work, her leadership, and her vision. And as we move to the future, we know she is an integral part of our success. Because she understands, as does the entire board, that this is our time. How else are we strong? We have strong leadership. Our new executive director, Alan Herman, started this past April and has made visible changes. It's not pink anymore. He, 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 he took on the issues we have with the building and created a team with our building staff and members of our synagogue to make sure that any money spent is spent as a long-term solution. We want to make sure we get long-lasting and enduring work done. The future we envision for Sutton Place Synagogue includes structural changes to our building so we can maximize our space and can enhance our programming and synagogue offerings. Picture this. The balcony in our sanctuary is used four times a year. This is one of those times. That's a lot of space for limited use. We are envisioning using that space for programming. What if we had screens that came down and we could use it for a film series up there or a movie night for children? Or if we had a portable ark 
and we had a more intimate setting for morning and ev evening minyanim. There are so many possibilities for that space if we think creatively. We also know that our lobby does not project the warm and welcoming community that we are. What if as we walked into Sutton Place Synagogue, the doors were more welcoming and the lobby was warmer and it led seamlessly into a sanctuary that was refurbished with new seats and new carpet. A sanctuary that honors our past but feels new and refreshed. I recently learned that the pews that you're sitting in right now, the wood from the pews, comes from Israel. We don't want to change that, but we need to fix it. When the rabbi and I sit on the beamer behind these huge lecterns, we don't see half the congregation. We need to make them newer and fresher. This is our sacred space, and it deserves to be treated as such. The work done this past August was necessary before we moved forward with any renovation. And as we think about the look and the feel of our sanctuary, we also need to think about expanding our outreach. This sanctuary should have the ability to stream our services so that our congregants who are ill could still be a part of any service that we offer. Or the snowbirds of SPS, and some of you are sitting here, who leave for Florida in the winter months could still participate or connect with us through the internet or some of the wonderful speakers and programs that we have would be available beyond the walls of Sutton Place Synagogue. Lastly, we look upward to the rooftop. The rooftop is the playground for our school, but it is also our sukkah and where we have many social events. However, if it rains, the children are forced to go to the ballroom. This precludes us from being able to rent our ballroom for different events like grisses or baby naming during the winter months. What if we could put a retractable covering over the top of the playground so that it could be used all year round, no matter what the weather? We could use the space for services under the stars or other special events. This is our time. We hit the elusive 500 member units this year and we are growing. Just four years ago, we were down to 437 members. Our demographics are diverse and strong as well. We are a third young professionals and boomers, a third families with children under the age of 18, and a third senior, seniors. We are offering programming that is stimulating and spiritual for all. We have a strong board and de development leadership team that is truly committed their time, energy, and resources to move Sutton Place Synagogue forward. There are so many people I could recognize for their hard work in this speech, but I want to take this moment to honor the memory of David Sachs. David was a long-time member of our board and an honorary vice president. I'm looking. David was one of the first people with whom I met when I became president, and truthfully, he blew me away. Brilliant committed, loving, and generous with his time and his resources. He and his brother Marvin donated the money to help build our education center almost 20 years ago because, as David said, they knew the nursery school was the key to us being able to sustain us as a community, and no truer words could have been said. David was a pillar of our past, and now we need to follow his example and create our new legacy to help us grow and move us forward. Now is our time to create the new generation of donors and leaders whose love for congregational life and commitment to being a part of it, our Jewish community is at their core. This is our time. Join us and be a part of our new generation. Can all of the members of the board and anyone who has served on a committee please stand? Look around. I ask you to introduce yourselves to one another. Ask them what's going on at Sutton Place Synagogue. Share with them how you can help. We need each of you to make Sutton Place Synagogue as successful as we can be. This is our time to build on the present and secure our future. You may be seated.
Building on the present and securing our future. Contribute to this Yom Kippur appeal and secure our community and our annual budget so that we can continue to do the things that we do best. Prayer, programming, and education. Help us to support our leadership in Rabbi Ain and Cantor Karen and Barack Levy and Lindsay Bennett and Alyssa Schwager, our new education director and all our office staff with Alan Herman as our executive director and Harry Janover right there, as you know, behind. Help us to keep the lights on and have food for Kiddush and wine for Havdalah, as it says in the prayer for the congregation. Help us to ensure the safety of this building. Help us. This year, please make a donation for the first time or turn down the new flat that increases your donation by 10% over last year. If you've already made your pledge and it's the same as last year, consider turning down the new flat still. We'll just bill you later. Um, every penny given to the Our Young Kipper Appeal will be used to enable us to be the Sutton Place Synagogue that reflects our quality and serves each of us in the best way possible. And know you are giving to a growing, thriving, and loving community whose time has come. I want to end as I began with a song. And I'm going to ask Rabbi Ain and Cantor Karen and, and Sila yep. and um, Alan and Harriet and also our development leadership team, the co-chairs of our campaign, Mark Pochapin, Greg Angrist, and Herb Lepore, and their wives, Sarah Angris, who's the Vice President of Development, and Ellen Shapiro, who's a member of our board, to come up here. When you receive the information in your high holiday ticket, we quoted the song, Hine Matov Umanayim Shevet Dachim Gam Yachad. How wonderful it is when brothers and sisters sit together. It truly is wonderful to be in this sacred space with you, my fellow cherished members of Sutton Place Synagogue. Thank you for choosing Sutton Place Synagogue as your spiritual home and to supporting this congregation with your heart and your soul. We are stronger when every voice is heard. Please stand and sing with us. six years, because she still has a year left on the last contract and we renewed her. But she and David are high guardians. They support this congregation financially, as well as with all the hard work that she did, does. And I want, in front of everyone, to thank you. Now please, the ushers will be coming by. You may be seated. Um, but we ask that you give, you give generously and you give today. The ushers will be coming by. Following the collection of the envelopes, we'll begin the Yisper service. 